Hi again, everyone. I'm Ollie Matthews. This is the Narcissistic Resistance, and this resistance video is sponsored by contribution from Anonymous. And here is her story. Hi, Ollie. Let me start off by saying that I'm a subscriber and really appreciate your videos. They're so informative and a breath of fresh air for us all. I made a small donation to the channel, and I hope that you can do a video about my story. I will try to summarize it and highlight the major details to hear your perspective would like to remain anonymous. Thanks for being a voice for us and saying to the narc exactly how we feel. Your comebacks are epic. Here we go. I have always known that there was something wrong with my family. I never knew what narcissistic abuse was until about a year ago when I sought out an amazing therapist. But now I am educating myself and screaming to the top of my lungs for all that have been hurt by these demons. I come from a family of a narc alcoholic or a narcoholic mom and an alcoholic absentee father. I have four sisters, so there are five of us, and we are all different, all fitting the character roles of a narcissistic dysfunctional family. My narcissistic mother split her personality between all five of her children and has resulted in disaster. My family was your classic poverty-stricken bad batch from the Lower Ninth war Ward in New Orleans. My narcissistic mother was supposed to be an only child, but apparently her mom was unfaithful to her dad, and she was ne never really was sure who her real dad was. Her father died when she was 10 years old. Her mother died when she was 13. She married my dad when she was 14. Wow. He was in the military. She had my oldest sister at 14, and that is how it started. Now I know she was severely abused by so-called family and friends. My dad would fight her when he got drunk, but she always, but she was always a fighter and she would fight him back. Dad got drunk one day when my oldest sister was two and attempted to violate her. But narcissistic mother had three more kids with him. So very sick and disgusting. I still don't understand that. They divorced when she had me. Jesus, New Orleans back then. I'm assuming you're another you're another black female, another black woman who got stuck in that that cycle of family sexual abuse that's covered up, hidden. I mean, Jesus Christ, your mother got married at 14 and had her first kid at 14. You're still a child. When you're from New Orleans, there are major issues with color within the black community. All right, so obviously I thought I, I thought I was right. My mom is a very dark-skinned woman, but my dad was of much fairer skin and what people like down what people down south would call light-skinned with good hair. Major stereotypes. It's exactly what what, Char, what Charlene, my wife, dealt with being Dominican. Most of her family is black. I mean, black black like african black you know um she cup she popped out light skin with fairer hair it's the same deal it's like status and then you got resentment and status and it's all on skin it's it, it's insane what goes on within the black community within latin communities based on like, you want to call white people racist? People want to say white people are racist? Uh-uh. <laughs> uh-uh. No, no, no. What black people do to each other over the shading of the darkness or lightness of their own skin, Latin, it's, it's, it's brutal. It's, br it's brutal. It would be fair to say that not all narc mom's kids came out fair-skinned. But out of all of them, the lot fell on me. I was the lightest of all my siblings with the longest hair, and this made me a ripe target for abuse. Yeah, just like Charlene. 
just like Charlene. They used to tell her. And they used to say, well, we're hard on you because you're light-skinned, so we expect more out of you. Like, what? It didn't help that everyone would tell my mom how different I looked from my siblings and how pretty they thought I was. This led to the beatings. Mom would tell her friends that she would beat me, so I would never think I was prettier than my sisters. Ollie, I never compared myself to my sisters. Just, just, I just always longed for their love. <clears throat> it has nothing to do with your sisters. It had to do with her. The same reason why Charlene's mother beat her, because Charlene was lighter than her mother. She was prettier than her mother. And her mother was a big child. Your mother was married and having kids at 14. She never progressed past that, that, that jealous age. Your mother's a 14-year-old. This is where it gets bad. My oldest sister was elevated to surrogate mother so my mom could run the streets with her friends. This is the other thing that happens. The oldest child is then slapped with the responsibility of raising the rest of the children so the, so the mother can go out and relive her life that was supposedly stolen from them by all these children. Well, who told you to have five children? She was charged with making dinner for everyone, making sure all the chores were done while mom was at work and ensuring we all did our homework. This turned into her, into her uh, this turned her into a drill sergeant. She would make us kneel down on rice as if we were bad and make us bend over and touch our toes for hours. And her favorite was making us kneel on Mardi Gras beads. We were always threatened that if we told my mom anything, surrogate mom would make things worse. So just like, needless to say, we obeyed her orders like little soldiers. Mom took pride in her little boss lady and would leave us home all home alone all the time. Could you ima can you imagine a 10-year-old cooking at the stove to feed all her little sisters? Yeah, because I've heard it I've heard it on this channel a million times. This is this these are the things that happen within with black mothers and that nobody talks about. This is how families get destroyed. And this happens over and over and over again. Black mothers who hate their children, hate their daughters. And she could have cared less what the older sister did because all she cared about was herself. Whatever it took to keep you in line, who cares? And your little sister, she, and your older sister, she's 10. She's 10. What does she know about discipline? She only learned from what, what, she, what she had done to her by your mother. I have a twin sister. Her, her are very different as night and day. There were three younger... There were, they were three years... Wait, I have twin sisters here. They are as different as night and day. There were three year, they were three years younger than surrogate mom and a year and a half older than me. Mom was always looking for someone who would take her children for a while so she could get a break. Right. Her whole life is a break. Well, not really. I mean, she got married at 14. It was... One day, my lost child sister and I decided we were going to run away from home because my mom was so violent. She was three. She, I was... I was three and she was four. We wrote a letter to my mom that said, you is mean and we leaving. We wrote it the best we could. We slid the note under the door and ran away to a blighted house in New Orleans. Mom read the note and sent surrogate mom to find us. When she found us, it was beginning to get dark outside and mom said that's when the, the raper man would come out. We got scared, so we went home. When we got home, my mom met us at the door and punched me and my sister in the face. She put us out of the house and locked the door. Nobody cared, and there was nothing we could do. We were toddlers, for goodness sake. We watched, she watched me catch a beating 
from my little sister's father after I was blamed by all my sisters for leaving a dirty towel in the bathroom. I was so young and he was so big. They knew the game and sacrificed me. My mom sat on the bed and watched this man viciously attack me. When she left, she said, You're so motherfucking stupid. I left the towel in the bathroom. Long as you live, don't you ever take responsibility for something you did not do. And she let this guy beat her. Beat you? Why? For some dick and attention? Black mother hates her daughter. I have this story repeats itself on this channel over and over and over again. My godmother, who was everything, would come pick me up on the weekend so that I could stay with her. I felt like she was something out of a fairy tale. She loved me beyond borders, and I gulped up that love like I saw Jesus. I was about four years old when she brought me back home from our weekend visit, and that was always the hardest for me. I threw a fit, fell on the floor, crying and slobbering all over myself. I begged her not to leave me. She was my heart, and I had been taking care of me from the moment I was born. My heart was with that woman. Mom was trying to get a break from having all them babies and was content living on welfare, trying to beat the system. Well, there you go. There you go. Well, that's where all the babies came from, and I didn't want to say it out of just like, oh, you're a racist. But that's why she kept having the babies, because it was more money on welfare. <clears throat> this is what's been going on for decades in the black community. So when they tell you, like, it's white people are the pro... Some, the liberal ones, the liberal ones that tell you this is okay, the liberal ones that tell you who hide this, who hide this truth. It's societal narcissism. It's, it's been running rampant in these communities for decades. young black mothers who hate their own daughters destroy them when my nanny left me I sat on the bed and just started pulling my ribbons out of my hair and basically making myself sick my mom came out of the bathroom with a bar of soap that she had been lathering up she grabbed the chair and put it in the middle of the floor. She made me sit in the chair and rub soap all over my face. Then she gathered my sisters together and made them form a circle around me while they pointed and laughed at the dirty-faced devil. She then took out her Polaroid camera and took my picture while they all laughed. They break you physically. They break you mentally. This is the worst thing you could do to a child. But this is not uncommon. This is the norm. A lot of times. With so many of the black women on my channel. And there is a lot of them. The sadisticness. The sadism. The pleasure they all take in it. That is how she broke me and taught my sisters it was okay to abuse me. That is exactly what they did. Narcissism is not spoken about a lot in the black community, and it needs to be, right? Because that's, the, that's how they drove the black father out. That's how they destroyed the black family. They put it all on the queen bee mother with no social stuff and no training and no anything, knowing that this is what they were going to do to their own daughters, left to their own devices, and that's what they did. If I see one more black mother or grandmother cursing out their kids or grandchildren all while milking the system, it turns my stomach. I mean, I don't know how many times I've seen it. Black mothers beating their small children. Just like, I fucking hate this little motherfucker. Just beating on him. Beat. Why? 
What does white people have? What does racism have to do here? Nothing. Nothing. This story repeats itself over and over and over again on this channel. In one of her efforts to get a break from her kids, she let my twin sister sleep over her good girlfriend's house. The whole time, the girlfriend's live-in boyfriend was abusing my sisters in a sexual manner. They were about six or seven years old, and they're all with these, 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 these pedophi this pedophilic men. Weak-minded, the next, the next boyfriend living on the couch, the next <clears throat> Madden King or Call of Duty, Call of Duty Colonel. Just a rotating door. They were never told about it. They never told her about it because she would always say that she would kill anyone who did that to her children. Lies. She never talked to it. Talked to us about our bodies or what physical changes we may be going through. When my sisters turned fourteen around Mother's Day, word got out that my runner lost child sister was experimenting in the street with little boys. Well, mom took offense to this and took my runner sister and told my runner sister that she was talking to her doctor to get her checked. My sister responded by saying, you didn't do anything to surrogate mom when she was doing, when she was doing stuff. That was the wrong answer. We were all outside riding bikes, and you can hear blood-curdling screams coming from our house. We had just moved in, in this house from the projects in New Orleans where she had us living so she could keep tabs on her crackhead boyfriend that she had been with for most of our lives. Dick and attention. Turns out the screaming was from mom picking up a glass bottle and cracking my runner sister in the face with it. She broke her, the bottle over her face. Blood was everywhere. My sister ran out of the house screaming and my mom was chasing behind her. She had a gun in her hand and was running down the street after my sister. My sister was screaming for someone to help her. The streets were packed and no one did anything. Nobody does in the black community. That's how it's been designed. So you don't even help each other. You blame people that aren't there and said, there's the problem. Running down the street. Chasing a bloody child with a weapon in her hand. The problem's right in front of them. But they look outside the community to point their finger because they don't want to face down. They don't want to face down that mother. They know what'll happen. Mom chased us all in the house at gunpoint and put the gun to all our heads. She told us that she would kill all of us if she ever found out we did anything. I knew that I had to get the hell away from her. I realize this is long, so if you have to skim through it, I totally understand. My sister stayed on the run for about four years before we saw her again. In the meantime, my baby sister, who has a different father from us, was always treated like the golden child. She had a lot of her father's DNA, so that made her big boned, lol. Anyway, mom had her way as the warden of our prison. She told me, the first boy that told me I was pretty, I was going to do it with him because I'm so stupid. When I was about 16, she forced me to go to her friend's OBGYN because I had become a young lady. She called everyone with a phone number and told them my business. I didn't even know what that meant because she didn't explain anything to me. The first doctor took, took me to refused... Oh, wait, I'm sorry. The first doctor she took me to refused to do an exam just because she said so. But this man was different. She forced me to lay on the table and let this man do whatever he wanted to do to me and cursed me out the entire time he was doing it. I knew that day I had to get away from her. I had asked God to kill her several times, and when that didn't work, I asked him to kill me. I knew that day... I knew that day that this woman did not love me. She took pleasure in watching me suffer. 
I was la- I was called lazy, trifling bitch from birth and couldn't understand what I did so different from my sisters and why they weren't called those names because you, cause you were lighter than them. She hated you because she was the most jealous of you. She took her frustrations of the world out on her children. I was selected to be a cheerleader in high school and that made me a target again. I could not believe that my family hated me. On Mother's Day, when I was about 17, I decided I was not going to go and fake with them and tell her how great of a mother she was. She sent my surrogate mom's sister and my golden child twin sister into the kitchen for them to jump me. It's just violence. Just violence at every turn. And this isn't only... Like, look, and when you got, when you got women... Like, I've dealt with so many women like this. Just... You know, fighting a black woman is not fun. It is not fun. And unfortunately, 20 years in law in, in, in loss prevention, okay, unfortunately, I've had to fight my share of black women. They're the worst. They're the worst. They don't, you, you can't stop them. You can't. They don't stop coming. They don't stop. They don't, you can't just haul off. Like a man, because then it's like, oh, you're hitting a woman. They don't stop. They don't stop. They, it's, it's, they're, they're, it's brutal. It's, it's, it's just brutality. So I can imagine what it must be like to be jumped by the, by two in your own in your own kitchen. I used to be so close with my golden child sister until we became teens. She completely turned on me and became the voice for my mom. It was her job to keep the family going, and she was destined to be the head molded by mom to her mini-me. Both twins are now alcoholics. Golden child Narc's sister is better off financially than runner sister who had it worse. She has a mouth that would make a sailor ashamed. It is just raggedy and she has taken on my mom's personality. Anyway, the cycle has continued now that we have our own children. I married my husband as soon as I turned 18. We dated for two weeks and have been married for 24 years now. Wow. Wow, you got your lucky. You got lucky. Wow, you got really lucky. You know, because you would have been really susceptible at that age with what you went through. He rescued me from their torment, and they hate him for it. Right, which is why I understand something. The fact that you were able is exactly why they were beating you in the first place, because they never wanted you to get out. They hated you. They hated you. All they could see you for is your skin tone. Unfortunately, and it's all, you were the lightest, or you were the one they were going to hate the most. It's a self-hatred that they all have. We dated for two... Okay. We have two awesome sons and my kids have become scapegoats by proxy. So is my husband. I realize that many people who write to you are not religious, but Jesus saved my life. My mom chased me into the church and my husband being a pastor was my saving grace. Now my mom has taken on his identity. She is a reformed preacher. Now. Yeah, right. Well, they all liked it. Look. Look, there's a there's there's a there's a church on, on every corner, every fifty feet in any urban area in the black community. The same churches that have been there. Okay? And nothing changes in the black community. So you have to ask yourself, okay, when you see like these areas that never get any better, they only go worse, get worse. You got to ask yourself, what are the common denominators? Oh, these institutions of failure that have been there since the beginning and everything, maybe that's the cause of it. So you might have found a good, a good pastor in a good church, Okay. People like your mother are going to use that church for her own purposes. Because all these women, all these women you talk to on my channel, most of them, I'd say 95% of them, all religious, all hide behind religion. They'll kick the shit out of you all week, beat you, ignore you, let you be sexually abused, and then they'll go gospel it up and 
and then sing it, sing their sins away every Sunday, and then it's all right. We got a fresh slate for the week. It's bullshit. She never acknowledges that she told me to sell my pussy to pay her bills while her crackhead boyfriend laid in the bed. Exactly. Exactly. Hypocrite. When I told her about all the things she had done, she went into narc rage and started yelling about how she would never tell her child something like that. Lies. All of my siblings are stuck in Stockholm Syndrome, just like your video said. My baby sister was the covert narc, and she played like she was validating everything that happened to me. <clears throat> then she told me, I feel like you raped me every time I talk to you. I was horrified. Yeah, then they blame you. That's a, that's a great that's a great tactic of the golden child who who tries to validate you but is only trying to suck you back in. They then blame you. It's like, oh, your story is so horrible. I felt like you know I was being cornered by you. Like, fuck you. That's what my brother tried. Like, fuck you, dude. I was horrified. I was the one who made sure she ate when we had no food. She was the one in her own room at 13 still wetting the bed while I was sleeping in a bunk bed with four other people in, a, in the room because Mommy Dearest said I would never have my own room in her house. I went no contact before about 20 years ago for about two years and now I have been no contact with them all for about two years. I have no plans of going back ever. But here's my question. I know narc abuse can transcend generations. I can see the behavior, so I've always kept my children away from them. Mom has never babysat my kids, who are now 21 and 15. She tried to get grandparents' rights and said she would prove I was an unfit mother. None of that worked, and my husband was ready to deal with her, like for real. So now my runner sister is over 40 years old and still living with mom. She has four kids that mom has damaged severely. They have cursed her out and stolen from all of them. She told me my son would be gay because I hugged and kissed him so much when he was little. Lies. My son is about to graduate college in a year and has a full-time job looking for a wife. He built, he's building a life for himself and has a good head on his shoulders. <clears throat> <clears throat> my youngest is in high school and flourishing on the football team. My mom, however, is still triangulating her grandchildren and teaching them to hate my children the same way she taught my sisters to hate me. But her golden child grandson just got out of prison for armed robbery, and they are still buying these lies she is spood feeding them. In her mind, does she believe that me and my kids deserve to be abused? They are her grandchildren. Does she even care that she has damaged generations? No. Listen, your mother still is going to want to see your, you and your happiness destroyed. No matter, for every single second she is alive. All, the only thing that, can, that, that, that she can think about is how to destroy you. Is how to take away your happiness. Because she can't deal with it, she can't handle, she don't want to die knowing you you lived a happy life. It's never going to stop. My kids want nothing to do with her, and I'm okay with that, but my golden child's sister has defended her to the ends of the earth. She has called me every bitch in the book and told me that I'm evil, empty vessel that is a hypocrite. I don't get it. I never throw accusations at any of them. I'm just trying to be a good mom and a good wife. Why would she destroy the very family she claims she has always wanted? Let me know your thoughts, Anonymous. Because at the end of the day, she's damaged. Because she's damaged like the rest of them. There's no helping any of these people. They're in their 40s. They're in their 40s. She's still dealing with them. You cannot have any contact with any single one person who has contact with your mother with any of these people. None. 
the whole situation is nothing but chaos. Prison and alcoholism and not acknowledging past sexual abuse. Why would you why would you trifle with any of it on any level? On any level. For your own for your own son's sake and your your older son's sake. I mean, you got you should be so rock saw like listen. That that part of my life is done. It's done. Those people are done. I can't have anything to do with it. Because your entire life, all they have been doing is looking for an angle to take you down. And that's never going to change. They're just looking for a way, whether it was your older sister mom, your mom pulling a gun on you, all of it. Now using your grandkids or going against your husband and becoming a... All of it. Every... Everything they have done has been for the goal of taking you down. That's it. She wants to take you down. They all want to take you down. They want to see you miserable. Because you are a reminder of what they couldn't be. And not only couldn't, could they not be it, they know they have no one to blame but themselves for the way they are in life. All of them. It didn't have to be that way. It cho They chose it. And you're one of the lucky ones who got out at 18. And you didn't let them destroy your entire life. Your story is just not uncommon in the black community. And when you really want to brass toxic and get down to why you, why do they hate you? Because you have the lightest skin and the fairest hair. And it all just comes down to self-image with, 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 with black women a lot of times with these types. It's horrible. But that's the fact. I mean, I've seen it. I've seen it firsthand. Charlene will tell you firsthand. My my wife experienced it firsthand. Your light skin. We expect more out of you. You think you're better than me, your mother. You think you're better than me. You think you're better than like just like a lunatic. The horrible things she would do to her, physically, sexually. Out of mean jealousy. She enjoyed it. She liked it. She got off on it. She chose to do it. Same in your situation. Same in every in every black female who writes into me situation. It always comes down that you're the prettiest one. That's what it is. And it's never going to change. Never. So... I hope that helps. Thank you for your contribution and your story. I really appreciate it. Thank you to everybody watching. Please leave any opinions or advice in the comment section below. And again, if you want your story read on the channel, you have a topic you'd like me to cover, a narcissist you'd like to expose, you'd like to set up Skype, a phone call, have a private video made, or a Facebook live chat, or you'd like to sponsor a video like this for someone who needs help and can't afford it, or just make a contribution to the channel in general to keep it supported, growing, and successful, because this channel survives 100% on contributions from all of you guys. Without you, all of this goes away. So if you like what you see here and you want to see more videos like this, you know what to do with the PayPal and email links in the description box. Also, please like and share this video wherever you can. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't. And be sure to click the subscription bell to be notified of all my video uploads. I'm Ollie Matthews. This has been the Narcissistic Resistance.